Anti-tobacco, not actually anti-tobacco, no one's against tobacco, no one ever regulates tobacco. Anti-smoker, you only regulate people. All regulations are people regulations and controls. So the laws against smokers and the people who produce tobacco and tobacco products and market and advertise, these draconian measures against them are in violation of the idea in our Consumer Protection Act that what consumers should have is education and information. And I will actually read what it says. It says that uh, the purpose of government is to promote and provide for consumer education, including education concerning social and economic effects. In other words, let people know. And it must uh, facilitate and promote freedom for consumers to associate and form groups to advocate and promote their common interests. And it should make policies only in participation with consumers. Now, here the opposite is being done. This is uh, the absence of education and information and the belief that there should be control. In other words, it is the stick, not the carrot. And we have in South Africa and in many parts of the world a very good example of the power of education and information to bring about behavior modification as opposed to regulation, and that's HIV AIDS. Uh, with uh, AIDS Day just recently behind us, uh, we are celebrating the effectiveness of various AIDS campaigns. There are no laws at all telling people when they may have sex, who with whom they may have sex, or how they may have sex, whether they should or shouldn't use condoms. It is entirely a matter of free choice. And yet education and information has led to substantial behavior modification so that there's been no fall in the population growth rate. Life expectancies are rising and all the objective indicators show that it has been an extraordinarily effective thing to do, that is to educate, not regulate. So regulation is insulting, demeaning, disempowering, not a way to treat emancipated, liberated adults in a democracy, and education is the legitimate thing to do if you think people, for example, shouldn't be obese. Being morbidly obese is as unhealthy as being a smoker. So what we do with a thing like obesity or a healthy lifestyle or people who are sedentary and don't exercise is we encourage and inform and educate and say these are the health risks of an unhealthy lifestyle. And that should include everything that has to do with an unhealthy lifestyle. And not having regular medical checkups, not flossing your teeth, not exercising, uh, eating junk food, and so on and so forth. So education is the thing to do. It's the only thing to do. There is actually no merit at all in this obnoxious, draconian obsession with control and regulation.